Guys, new look colors. Yes, guess what, guys? I was in the house, but um, came out to do something, so I said to myself, you know what? I'm going by. I'm here by the Marine Parkway Bridge now. I'm gonna get dressed and go down and see what's up. I'm just gonna fool around for a little bit. I'll kill a little time, guys. Let's go, guys. Look at Lois, I'm out here. I'll kill a little time. I know what time it is. Let's go. Just in the house. Nothing to do. Why not come and fool around? It's now high tide. Oh yeah. Morning. I'm all right. No luck yet. Morning. Morning, All right. <laughs> right now, look at a nice little bird diving right there. Feet for them. Diving. Oh yeah, they're feeding. So right now, you have the high tide cover the wood all them posts coming up the water the high tide came up and covered those so right now it's a good time the striped bass love them love those structure they come and they sit there oh yeah birds following me let me give you a good look at them they'll come up back just now you'll see them moving with the bait fish oh uh, give were a couple seconds there they go there you go. Crazy bird. <laughs> Going after it? Yeah, yeah he, pick, he pick it up just now. <laughs> yes, guys, I just came out for a little bit today. You know, just to mess around and fish a little bit. Now, I have my sun flea lure. This lure I've been fishing with from last year. But now you guys see the bird came down and he just pick it right out of the water. He just pick it up and flying with it. It's crazy, right? So, just hanging out, see what's going on, you look at... So guys, when you're um, fishing for striped bass, you always have to keep your eyes on your lure at all times. Don't take your eyes off that lure, because if there's a fish, a fish might come up and hit that lure and you won't see. So if a fish come up, hit that lure, look guys, look at that bird guys. That bird, he just dives down and hit that lure again guys. He hit that look. I don't know. He's, maybe they're hungry. And maybe they just like all these things swimming. Yes, guys. These birds are going crazy for my sand flea lure right now. So, I don't want them to get home. So, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy, guys. Birds feeding right now. It's crazy. Uh, just a little video, I'm out here, just, you know, 
hanging out by myself, guys. This is my San Filo, guys. Don't forget my San Filo from last year, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> fish them loving it the bird them loving it more than the fish right now so i just keep on fishing them with it i'm gonna fish with it for a little bit you know it's sunday don't have anything much to do but just uh come down here and just hang out a little bit now guys we're in fishing for striped bass watch me now guys look at keep your eyes on the lure when they work in the lure all the way in all right guys when you're working that lure all the way in just work that lure keep your eyes on it work that lure all right and before it reach all the way in just slow it down a little bit i'm gonna show you guys all right before it reach all the way in just slow it down and just work it all the way in work it all the way in guys all the way in don't take it out the water all the way in just like how I have it here all the way in. Cause what happened? Sometimes that striped bass is right behind that lure. He's right behind it. And as soon as you pick it out of the water, bam, he try to get it. So just slow it down before you take it out the water. You know, sometimes you try to get it out the water to cast it out real quick again, but just keep it right there. That fish is following that lure. Never tell yourself there's no fish in this water, guys. Because you never know when you might get a hit. Keep that lure coming in. Keep that lure coming in, guys. Keep that lure coming in. Keep that lure coming in. Because sometimes that fish is following that lure. Keep it coming in. Keep it coming in. Keep it coming in. Don't take it out of the water yet, guys. Just work it all the way in. Keep it, your right tip up and just put it in till you get it out of the water. That fish is right there. All my subscribers, you want to catch your first striped bass? Let's do what new, new look tell you to do. As soon as your lower drop hit the water like that, bam, keep your eyes on it. Try to locate where that, that lure is and just keep your eyes on it because sometimes that striped bass, you will use its tail and hit that lure. You will use its head and hit that lure. And if you don't see that, you won't know a fish is there. Just keep going back in the same spot. Keep going back in the same spot. In my head. A lot of people just fish. Just, you know, because it's fishing. They don't pay attention. So if you pay attention, you catch more fish. That's how I look at it, guys. Yes, guys. No look at Lois, I'm down here. Sunday, feel like coming out. Just to relax a bit. Let me find a, a seat that I can sit on. Talk to you for a minute. Yeah. Yes guys, new look at Lois, I'm here. That's the Marine Parkway bridge right there. I just came around the corner here to do, do a little, just hang out for a little bit and talk to you guys for a little bit to all my subscribers all my viewers who would like to catch the first striped bass now you gotta pay attention whenever you go fishing for striped bass guys just make sure as soon as that lure hit the water you keep your eyes on that lure keep your eyes on your lure and watch that lure all the way in because sometimes the striped bass they like to play they like to play with their food they like to play around he will come and he will hit it with his tail. He will come up and try to get it, but he, he don't want it yet. So if you see that, you just keep going back in that same spot. Keep going back in that same spot. He might come up again and do the same thing, right? And eventually he might hit it. He might hit it, but he's not ready yet. So once you keep your eyes on your lure at all times, guys, as you see, what I did before, when you're reeling in your lure, as soon as that lure coming out of the water, slow it down, take your time and take it out of the water. Don't just pull it out of the water. Because if you pull it out of the water, sometimes that striped bass come boom, try to get it right away. Pay attention guys, it's not hard. It's very, 
simple catching stripe bass. If you're using an SB, an SB minnow, and you're swimming a lure under the water, if you feel a little tap, like you just tap it, guys, that means it's playing around again. You feel a little tap. Like he, he, he probably, he don't grab the hook. He probably just grab the, the back of the SP or the side. He's just playing around. But you keep going back in the same spot and he's gonna hit it. All right, but if you get a hook up, like, mm, oh yeah, fish on. And you're working him, pump him a two time and he come off, he's not coming back. But you can go back like maybe two or three days after that fish will be looking for you. That fish will be looking for that lure. Because it's just like mankind, you do somebody something they don't forget. Fish is the same way, animal the same way. You hit them, they're going to remember. So once you hook up into that striped bass and he flies in, can't get away and eventually he get away, he's mad right now, but his mouth is burning. So maybe two days after he cooled down, now he's mad. He's going to come back and circle the area looking for that lure looking for that fish whatever did that to him so when he sees that he's gonna wait for an opportunity to hit that lure and when he hit it he's gonna hit it hard it happened to me guys I'm telling you so many times I'm fishing 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 hook up mm, fish get off never hit it go back two days time bam he hit it take me for a run oh yeah I've caught a many, many big fish before this, so I know. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is, um, yes guys, now, before I start making videos, start fishing for striped bass, I mean I used to fish for striped bass before, when I used to go on the boat, but before I start doing surf fishing, before I start making videos, I'm fishing in Rockaway Beach, 24th Street. And there was nothing going on. So I said to myself, why am I casting? I'm getting fed up, I'm getting frustrated because I'm casting and then maybe there's no fish out there. What am I casting for? What am I fishing for? Anyway, the tide was going out and I decided that I want to just walk out in the water a little bit up to my knees, then I go a little further. Next thing you know, guys, when I look, I see striped bass swimming up and down, up and I'd be like, what is going on? I'm here fishing, all these fish and no fish hitting my lure. I'm casting out the lure now and they're swimming behind my lure, not touching it. And from that day, I know these fish are very smart. So there's never a time that I come fishing, casting and think there's no fish out there. So, you know, it's all about patience. When you're fishing for striped bass, patience and just pay attention. You catch more fish, guys. Once you pay close attention to what you're doing and watch your lure, watch the water, you see what's going on. A lot of time my buddies are walking the beach, going all the way up and down. And I say, yeah, the fish them right here. They don't believe me, they keep going. But I just stay here. If you see new local lures fishing in one spot a long time, there's fish because I see them but it's just not the right time for them to hit so top water when I'm fishing top water I love top water I love top water more than anything night time I love using SP and I realize now that I'm going to start doing top water fishing at night because it's crazy um, another thing I want to talk about guys when you're going fishing for striped bass don't even try if it's flat. Don't even try if there's no movement in the water. Don't even, don't even bother. Because striped bass, they're laser fish. And if they can see their food, forget it. They don't want it. It's not fall run and it's not, I mean like in April when they're just coming in, they hit aggressive. April, May, June, aggressive. July, August, September, forget it. They get lazy because then the bluefish move in and start doing all the work for them. So you might get a hit. So, you know, striped bass are very, very lazy. 
So when it's nice and calm and they can see the fish right in front of them, they're not gonna hit it because they're, they're too lazy to run down. But when it's rough, guys, when it's rough and windy, that's the time to fish for striped bass because they can sneak up on you. When it's rough and windy, they can sneak up on their fish. So that's the time they love. That's why when nighttime they feed because they can sneak up, they can do whatever because they think that a bait fish cannot see them. So never you think that if it's rough, it's not a good time for striped bass. It's the best time for striped bass. When it's rough and windy. When it's windy, I love the fish for striped bass. But when it's calm, no guys, I don't like it. So to catch more fish for striped bass, I think that's the few steps you need to, that's just two simple steps you need to follow. Just pay attention, keep your eyes on your lower and you'll see what's going on. Alright guys, and remember, take time, don't rush that lower at the water, keep it right there, nice and slow all the way out. Alright? And striped bass, they love the shoreline, try to fish more of the shore to catch more striped bass. And you look alert, I'm out here, just want to give you those few tips. So. Yeah, nice day to be out. Not the season yet. Season start April 15th, that's when I'll be more active. But I just feel like coming out, you know, get out the house and just walk with my pole and just come let you guys know what's going on. All right, you guys see just a while ago, that bird came down and he picked up my lure and he fly with it. And, you know, it's all about, you know, nature at its finest, so yeah. Getting ready to head on home. Getting ready to head on home, guys. But um, you look alert. I'm getting ready. Getting ready for the fishing season. So yeah, you know what time it is. Let's go. Yes, guys. So right now, you look alert. I'm heading home. Just to, uh, you know, go we'll take care of some stuff right now. So yeah, that's what's up, guys. You want to catch more striped bass? Oh yeah. You know what time it is. So, yes, guys, that beautiful time coming up again when everybody go crazy. Oh yeah. So let's take a stroll on the beach. You know what time it is. Uh, maybe two hours. Yeah, so, uh, you think it's bad over here? No, it's good, but uh, you know, you just have to wait for the right time. Oh, like walk on this? Over there. Yeah, you could try over there. It's yeah. a little deeper, you know? Yeah, it is. Do you have videos on YouTube? Yeah. What's your channel? And you look at yours. I don't even have YouTube, I'll let it do a score. You can subscribe and you can what? I make lures too, fishing lures and stuff. Yeah, I make fishing lures like these. Oh, you make them? Yeah, I oh, make them nice. and I do fishing videos also. Uh -huh. yeah. Do those catch good? Yeah, I thought fish. Is it good. better than like live bait? Like, I mean, worm, worm is good like now. Yeah. They're just coming in. Yeah. Yeah, but like the 15 next month. Like when it gets a little warmer. Yeah, you get them on top water and stuff. Okay. Go to the store, buy some poppers and stuff. You got it. Alright. Yeah, so here it's good, you know in the back? Yeah. Where they fly the plane and stuff? Yeah, huh? yeah. Yeah, over there it's good too. Oh, it's good over Mario. Left. Left? Okay. Michael. So the, the 15th, I'll be over there like after work. Yeah. Alright. I'll be so in the back here fishing. So you can come and check it out. Alright. And see what I'll show you what's going on, alright? Okay buddy, no problem, alright? What are you doing? Okay. Right. No fish yet, man. Yeah, they're around. Huh? They are around. Where you hook up at? It's coming, man. I know it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming.